episode is all about Young Jun and his naughty little devil, and I love the frank discussions of sex and consent as Young Jun tries to figure out how to take his and Mieso's relationship to the next level. It's a sticky topic for two people who are still figuring out how to go from colleagues to lovers, and doubly so when you consider that they're both relatively inexperienced. Luckily, they're already good at the one thing that makes a relationship successful, communication. Episode 13 Recap After an emotionally exhausting day, Young Jun and Miso have a simple dinner at Young Jun's house. Misa says that honesty is always best, and Young Jun tells her that honestly, he doesn't want to waste this night with her. But just as things are getting hot and heavy, Young Jun's phone rings. Because of course it does. He ignores it, but it rings again immediately, so Misa tells him to answer in case it's an emergency. It's Yushik, and luckily for him, it is an emergency, a French company with an exclusive contract with them is being targeted by a UK company. Since they're such a large brand, if they decide to break their contract, Yum Yum would incur some severe losses. Young Jun asks for a report on their potential loss, and on the profits the French company has made from being sold in Yum Yum duty-free stores compared to their competitors' stores. Left alone, Misa starts to refasten her blouse, then wonders if that's weird in case Young Jun comes back. She gets all flustered thinking about him undoing her top, and gulps some more wine to settle herself. After reviewing the numbers, a young June tells Yushik that they can't afford to pull the French company's products and will have to renegotiate their contract, which he believes is their ulterior motive. He and Yushik decide that they need to leave for France first thing in the morning. Young June realizes that if he goes to France, he won't see Misa for a week, so he needs to make tonight count. But by the time he gets back to her, she's drunk and fast asleep. He pointedly grumbles in her direction that he's leaving for a week-long business trip tomorrow, and that she'll regret it if they don't make the most of tonight, but she doesn't wake up. Even a sudden violent coughing fit right in Mieso's ear doesn't work, to young June's chagrin. Finally he gives up and carries her to bed, and he settles for a kiss on her forehead, waving away his naughty-minded devil. He complains that at this rate, he'll become an expert in forehead kissing, ha. Huh? In the morning, Miso finds herself alone in Young Jun's bed, and she realizes, with horror, that she drank too much and fell asleep. Young Jun is sitting nearby, and he says grumpily that he did not sleep well. With a nervous giggle, Miso asks about the phone call last night, and Young Jun decides that he's leaving on a business trip. Miso helps him pack, and he gives her a back hug and whines about not seeing her for a week. He threatens to smuggle her along in his suitcase, but she says she has work to take care of. Young Jun takes a picture of himself with Mieso's phone to keep her company while he's gone, then takes one of her for himself. He also takes one of them together, and teases that he'll punish her if she doesn't contact him often. She asks how, and he, punishes, her with a long, thorough kiss. Young Jun is already sending, I miss you, texts to Miso before he even gets to the airport. She responds with several heart emojis, which he returns, and Miso nearly gets caught simpering at her phone by GR. Young Jun the size, so cute, and Chial, who's driving, is all thank you, sir, I get it a lot. They video call that evening and joke about who missed who more. Young Jun complains that he's jealous of hardworking Cow for sitting on the bed next to Miso, so Miso elbows hardworking Cow off the bed and says that Young Jun's place is free. Young Jun goes to his meeting, buoyed by the little box of caramels, Miso tucked into his document folder. He successfully renegotiates their contract with a French supplier, then tries to call Miso, but she's busy in a meeting. She lies in bed that night, staring at Young Jun's picture and missing him. GWI Nam is promoted to Young Jun's office team, to everyone's delight, even GR's, who's regarding him a lot more favorably since he helped her with the notes she shredded. The whole team wilts to hear that Young Jun will be back in two days, and when Shayra wishes his plane would be delayed, Misa loses her temper and slams her hand on her desk. At the airport, a Young Jun nearly runs in his eagerness to see Miso, making Yushik complain about his long legs. Young Jun says he's worried about how much Miso misses his handsome face, so he's come home early to surprise her. A frigid wind blows through the office, heralding Young Jun's early return. Seeing Misa smiling at GWI Nam for his efficient work, Young Jun scares 10 years off GWI Nam's life with his jealous glare. 
he's more friendly to the new intern than he is to GWI Nam, and he tells me so to meet him in his office. Once alone, a young June fusses that he cut his trip short and flew for 12 hours to see Misa smile at him, only to find that smile aimed at another man. His distress just makes her smile even wider, and at the beautiful sight, he goes starry-eyed and kisses her without warning. He wraps her in a hug and says they should stay close now that they're back together. He takes her for coffee, unconcerned with all the work that's piled up while he's gone. He tells me so that he never skipped class as a student, and that this is the first time he's ever skipped work, just to spend time with her. Sung Yoon is still in the country, and he thinks about his childhood. He remembers how confusing it was when Young Jun's name was so similar to his, and how Young Jun got special tutors due to his above-average intellect. The day Young Jun was kidnapped, Sung Yoon had left him alone on purpose, and in his guilt, he'd convinced himself that he was the one who was kidnapped. He'd been planning to leave the country, but he tells his parents that he doesn't think he should run away again. He says that it was never Young Jun he hated, but his own self, for being so jealous of Young Jun's apparent perfection. Mom apologizes for not paying enough attention to him, and she asks his forgiveness. Dad also says he's sorry for unintentionally comparing Sung Yoon to Young Jun, and Sung Yoon says it's not too late to start over. When Young Jun and Miso get back to the office, GR is all at Twitter over a rumor that Young Jun has a girlfriend. A friend got a photo of him kissing Miso's hand and texted it to GR, though luckily Miso's face isn't visible. Miso admits she was with him but fibs that she waited in the car and didn't see the so-called girlfriend. GR sees a text pop up on Mieso's phone from Young Jun, saying that he enjoyed skipping work, 